money is an essential part of our everyday lives. We use it all the time to pay and to be paid. And for hundreds of years, central banks have been entrusted with the job of making sure that we can rely on the money we use every day, that it will be safe, convenient to use and available to everyone. Technology is now quickly changing the way we live and the way that we transact with each other. And as has happened in the past, technology is changing the forms of money that we use in our everyday lives. As central banks, we need to think about the opportunities and the challenges that these changes mean for our job of ensuring that trusted, effective and convenient money continues to be available to everyone. Many central banks are working on these issues. At the beginning of this year, a group of them decided to share and develop their analysis of a general purpose central bank digital currency, a digital electronic form of central bank money available to everyone to use, to pay and to be paid. In a nutshell, a digital equivalent of cash. Today, this group is publishing a report which explores the opportunities and the challenges of such a digital currency. It sets out the key principles that should underpin it and the core features it should have and the way it could help us, the central banks, to fulfill our mission. So when it comes to feasibility, um, feasibility of a CBDC is for each central bank to decide for themselves. Um, there are lots of questions which are specific to different jurisdictions. There are even polit political dimensions to uh, deciding on a CBDC. So feasibility is for each and every uh, of these central banks to decide. Um, what we do in this report is to uh, lay out the foundations. Um, and for this, we need principles. And we've uh, identified three key principles uh, that should uh, lay the foundations for any work on CBDC. And these principles are first, uh, a do no harm principle. That is, CBDC should not hamper central banks in delivering uh, on their mandates. And that means delivering monetary stability and financial stability. The second principle is about a, um, having an ecosystem where CBDC will coexist with commercial bank money and with banknotes. And we want that ecosystem to be diverse. And the third principle is about um, encouraging innovation and efficiency, uh, not only uh, in money, but in the financial system at large. And for that, we need the private sector to be actively involved. So these are about the, the foundations. And we know, that, we know there is a lot of work between laying the foundation and building the house, uh, but that's uh, where we want to start from. As well as providing a safe means of payment, a central bank digital currency could promote more resilient, efficient, inclusive, and innovative payments. But there are also implications that need to be considered carefully, including the potential for digital bank runs at times of stress and the possible longer term implications for the banking system. None of us have yet decided to provide a central bank digital currency, and we will all continue to provide cash as long as people want it. But today's report is a major step forward in our thinking, and I would encourage anyone with an interest in this subject to click on the link below and read the report. Thank you. So that's the exciting uh, and difficult question. Uh, what we want to do next uh, together is uh, first to build on the commitment and excitement uh, that we uh, can see and feel around CBDC, which is not about deciding now whether or not to uh, do a CBDC, but that's about uh, exploring in common the foundations for doing so. Um, and there are really two avenues uh, which I see as, uh, as complements. The first avenue is about the policy dimensions of CBDC. There are key issues which are raised in the report which, uh, on which we need to uh, elaborate and in, into which we need to, to dig further. Um, and these are, uh, for instance, about uh, how to um, build CBDC in a way that delivers financial stability. How do we want to build CBDC in a way that delivers, um, that protects um, individual data? and that, uh, that fits with, uh, with legal frameworks, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So there are many policy dimensions uh, which we need to explore further. And the second work stream uh, is more technical, and it's about the, te the technical or even the technological building blocks uh, that we need to, uh, to build the CBDC. And that's about the instrument 
and also that's also the, about the system, about the architecture uh, that uh, that we want to see around the instrument. Um, and for that, um, each and every central bank is doing a lot of work individually. The BIS Innovation Hub can also support, uh, as part of its broader mandate, uh, supporting the, the broader central bank community. And we want to be able to explore building blocks, technical choices to identify trade-offs uh, so that we can inform decisions ultimately to be taken by each and every central bank. We very much look forward to participating in that discussion.